What's up guys, this is Jovin Nicholas and I'm here to talk about graphic design. Um, I've been in this field for like five, six years and I want to share some of the skills, the tips, the tricks that I've passed through uh, on this journey and I'm going to share with you, I'm going to share it with you uh, visually as in you're going to see the walkthrough through the app, you're going to see the walkthrough on the processes that I do, you're going to see everything that I go through physically. So I hope you guys stay tuned and I hope you enjoy this. First off, we're going to know how, wh what graphic design is. So graphic design is basically uh, a method or a craft that we use to communicate visually. As in the graphic design means that people come together, I mean a person puts things together visually to convey a message or to convey a certain uh, type of communication to the mass of people. Graphic design has been has been around for like forever. It's been here for a long period of time and we all know about it and it's actually really accelerating right now. Most people know about it, most people take practice about it, most people learn and we're going to share with you what we have learned through the way. I'm going to be with the I'm going to be in this project with Abdul Rahim and we're all we're all together going to share our experiences in this field and we are going to, to show you how we actually do what we do and we, we're going to show you how we do it best so stay tuned guys okay so moving on guys i'm going to share with you uh the software that we use in graphic design we have different types of soft software depending on someone's uh experience in the field we have adobe illustrator that's the most commonly used i mean the adobe apps that's adobe illustrator adobe photoshop adobe indesign that covers like the whole field of graphic design without going to motion that covers uh, a big part of graphic design um, if we go further there are some softwares like color draw affinity designer uh, sketchbook that people also use to to do graphic design on their own so moving forward i'm going to show you guys uh, i'm going to cover the i'm going to cover the field of adobe illustrator and i hope you guys enjoy this because I'm, I'm going to be the one who walks you through and i hope you participate in this i hope you you all get to get an understanding and without further ado let's just let's jump into the app okay so we have adobe illustrator open right now and i'm going to show you guys a bunch of things that you can actually do while you're beginning adobe illustrator uh, this software is known for being light in design it, it likes it creates the basic designs the most vector designs uh, we're going to go deep into that in the later episodes where I'm going to talk about what vector is and stuff like that uh, the components of Adobe Illustrator and stuff like that but for now we're just going to cover the basics of Adobe Illustrator we're going to cover it lightly and in a simple way that most of you can grasp uh, a part of this and just get to get an understanding about this so okay so going through we have Adobe Illustrator open right now we're going to the first thing that a person does is know like all these components that we have here uh, in the top left coming through we have the AI icon most of the time that's just used to like minimize or restore now yeah, we know that we're going to start here from the file so from the file we have we are going to create a new document uh, you can also do that with Control N on your keyboard or Command N on, on a Mac if you're using a Mac. And we're just going to create a basic artboard of 1080 pixels. That's that's because it's like the basic one. So we have 1080 filled in right now, and we're going to create the document. We're going to put this raster effects to 300 because that's the highest. Uh, it's, it's written 300 ppi because it's pixel per inch so per, for 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 each for each inch of pixels there is like 300 for each inch there's 300 pixels okay so we're going to create a new document right now and we're in okay so on the left on the left we have this uh tab this is like the basic control tab uh it it, it, it consists of some tools that you can use that are really helpful and can simplify your way into design they're really easy they're really um, straightforward you can just go into it and just get through with your work uh, on the top side right here you have the uh, artboard panel you can just actually move this artboard out of your workflow or you can just return it so um, 
if you're not seeing this this top control bar you can just go to window and controls that basically hides it or shows it so right now we just be going I just hide it I just hidden it so we're just going to show it so I'm just going to window and I'm going to control and you guys can see this window up here this consists of the color space like you guys can choose your color in like different forms like the fill color and the stroke color and you can adjust the stroke right here you see the number is going up and down this is the is like the stroke okay so we have like um the opacity you can like move the opacity up or down you can like set up the document or preference and we also have the preferences right here but we're going to talk about that later on on the right side now we have the properties panel this properties panel is really important because it's like it simplifies the work at a huge amount you guys can like just run run down all your work really fast based on these properties you guys can use these properties really smooth really fast and it like helps you guys to like um, get a smooth workflow because in the properties panel you guys can just get like uh, a full guide on what to work with we have the libraries panel which we're not going to talk about right now because it's like somehow complex okay we're going to go into these icons all these icons are available like uh, in the windows panel we're going to talk about that so okay i think it's just that for now until the next one thank you guys for being here thank you guys for your support uh we have just wrapped up this first video uh i hope you guys like are going to be here for the next one we're going to share with you some awesome tricks tips and more so i hope you guys stick in don't forget to follow me on my social media don't forget to subscribe to this page uh, my instagram is nicholas x you can follow me for some really awesome design feeds and i'm actually going to be posting there and you guys can also subscribe to this youtube page for more feeds and i hope you enjoy signing out on to the next one